Let us have a look at further 3D tools. When you have a three-dimensional model like this, very simple model, and you want to see how exactly the sun is going to affect this model, there's a couple of steps that you can follow to do exactly that. First thing that you have to do is you have to go to your view environment settings. In your view environment settings, you can choose the location by country and by city or town, or you can do it by latitude, longitude information. You can choose your date, time of year, time of day, as well as your north angle relative to your model that you've got in front of you. Once you've set all of that, going back into T renders, at the top you'll see there's a tab that says Sun Study. Once you click on Sun Study, you can take any view that you've saved in your current drawing. Uh, the views you can save by going to display and storing and recalling views. And as I've done in this exercise, I've chosen to display view number 3 at 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. The images Caddy will create, you can choose to be stored in a specific folder. And once you click on OK, it will go ahead and create those renders for you. I already have created a couple of them, so if I have a look at how it looks 8 o'clock in the morning, you will see at the top it says 8 o'clock in the morning, and that's how the model looks. If I go back and move on to 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 4 o'clock, you can see from this exercise how the sun affects your model. So you can see if you have to increase overhangs of your roof, maybe add some screen walls, maybe change your north arrow or north direction in any way to uh, adjust the way that the sun is projected onto your model. Further to do that, you can also create a walkthrough around your model, either around or going through the model itself. To do that, you have to draw a spline going right around your model or through your model. Then in your 3D views, doing a walkthrough setup, you can adjust the number of major cameras, number of intermediate cameras, the eye height above points, in other words, the eye height above the spline itself. You can even tell Caddy to create slides, and the slides that it creates can either be a screenshot, as you see currently in front of you, or a view photorealistic render. If you choose view photorealistic render, it will create a couple of rendered slides that you can put together, as I'll show you a bit later. Once your walkthrough is done, your cameras can be adjusted to look in specific directions. And once you've done that, and you click on walk, it will just walk around following the spline that you've drawn right through or around your model. Currently, it displays the screen shot only, so it shows it as it is on screen. If you've done that as a view rendered image, photorealistic rendered image. It creates a number of slides for you and if you go to File, Save Other, Caddy now also has the ability to make a SWF file, which is a Shockwave Flash Player movie file. In that Shockwave Flash Player movie file creator, SWF creator, you can add files into the list or you can add a complete folder into the list itself and it will just populate the list with the images that you've rendered. If I click on the top one you will see there it gives you a rendered image and you can move these images up and down, remove some of them etc. You can also specify the number of frames that it has to um, use when creating the SWF file. Once you create it it creates those images into a SWF file. Once you've got Internet Explorer open, I've already saved an SWF file called Walk SWF. Once you click on that, it should now give you a rendered image of the same walkthrough as seen earlier.
as you can see from this, it gives you photorealistic rendered images uh, showing you materials, the sun, shadow positions, etc., etc., etc.